Hi guys, Squirrel here, I'm back with some OMSI. Oh, good old OMSI. So what I've done is I've... I completely wiped my OMSI folder. I think I had too much stuff in there. I, I'd been lumping in all kinds of downloads and add-ons and maps and all kinds of things. And things started to go a bit strange, as you probably saw in the previous video. So what I've done is I wiped out my OMSI folder. And uh, at the moment, I've just got DLC that comes from Steam. So I've not kind of downloaded anything. So hopefully... Hopefully, I'll have a clean installation now and things won't go so weird. Although I have to say, people standing on the footwell of the of the outside of the bus in the last video was pretty funny. Right, where are we? Well, this is the uh, Vienna DLC. There are two DLCs on Steam, a Vienna 1 and a Vienna 2. This is Vienna 1, which has the Route 24A, I think it is. And then Vienna 2 has Route 23A. I think I got that right. Um, both of them, a little bit pricey. Are they worth it? I don't know. I've only just got hold of them. I've only just started playing with them. So we're going to have a go here. As you can see, it says 24A down there, auto bus. We're in a place called Invalid something or other. Invalid Densidlung. That's where we are. It's basically a town. And we're going to head down to the main bus stop. Which I think is in... Is it in Kurgung or somewhere like that? Anyway, we'll jump inside. I'll take you around the bus. Uh, this is this is the LU200 bus. Uh, so this was the bus that was been in use for about 30 years. Right the way up to 2005-06 when there was a crossover. That's when they switched to the more modern bus. Uh, which I'll show you in another video. But this one, this is a real classic bus. I mean, a bus that was in use in, in the... Uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s, effectively, all the way up to 2005. I think the last use was in 2007. It's called the LU200 M11, is what it is. Let's jump inside, and uh, I shall get this thing started up. Let's let's take you over some of the controls first, okay? As you can see, it's all very, uh, very, very old school. Very simple, very basic. Uh, in typical OMSI fashion, most of the stuff works. The most important test for any bus when you first get hold of it, of course, is to check that the window squeaks properly. It's got a nice dry squeak to it and a good slam. So yeah, it's a good bus. Right, let's get rid of the wheel and uh, we'll start this thing up. So we'll, we'll start off by pushing in the ignition here and then we'll turn that into one of the active positions and then... We shall make sure that the parking brake is set, which is that lever there, you see it? That's a parking brake set. By pulling that back, we'll make sure that's on. We're in neutral, I'll explain these in a minute, and then we'll start the engine and get it all running. Lovely sound. Now, keep your eye on these two dials here. These are the brake pressure lines. And uh, they should start to... Essentially, you're not supposed to drive away unless the needles are registering six. Now, we've got quite a bit of brake pressure at the moment. If I put my foot on the on the brake pedal, the yellow dial is like the active brake pressure, and the white dial is the reservoir brake pressure. Uh, so that should start to come up. It does take a few minutes to come up, but it should get well over six. It should end up, up here somewhere when it's all done and dusted. Uh, what else have we got? Well, we've got the blinkers to these things. Obviously, this is the indicator light. If I do right indicator, you can see on the stick moving here left indicator. It just has a single indicator thing. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the uh, parking brake, which is that yellow light there, which is currently on. Uh, we've got the uh, the central warning light, which is this thing, which means vehicle cannot be driven if that light is on. So what's... This is because the whole thing is pressurising. That's what's going on. So we're not... We can't drive away yet, essentially. Uh, we've got the fuel gauge, which is just shown here, which is uh, quite full-on fuel. Uh, we have got the... what's this one? This is the fuel tank selector switch. Uh, doesn't function in this, but, you know, I'm not really sure if it switches to reservoir on or off. I'm not really sure what it does. There's no explanation in the manual or what that one does. Uh, then we've got the, uh, the door controls. Uh, the door controls are quite interesting. This, this bank of buttons here. Uh, th these are quite interesting in the way they work. Essentially, that middle green dot there, when that lights, uh, you can drive away. Uh, that's that. Remember that one for a kickoff. Uh, these are door one and door two. If we flick outside of the bus in a second, you can see we've actually got two rear doors and a front door. Uh, so they operate the rear doors. This option here, if you press this, 
then a passenger can let themselves on the bus and anybody that wants to get off uh, who breaks the light bar at the back will be able to get off so by doing this it's like saying self-serve all the passengers can effectively get on and off themselves that is the button you press to clear that so if you turn that on then the doors are now active and passengers could let themselves on if they wanted to that ding dong and the green light means we can now drive away that's that's come on because the um the bus is now in a drivable state and all the doors are closed uh, there's also the um the normal station what you normally have at a station break which opens the main door um, as you can see is actually that button here uh, so that's what you would do that's what the driver uses to manually open the front door without allowing passengers to enter and exit the bus automatically so you can press that if you want to the only thing that i've noticed is when you've got the wheel in place um it <laughs> annoyingly kind of obscures these buttons here so you can you know you just about click it there like that to open the door but it is a bit fiddly however i've got a button mapped to it so it's no biggie uh, that one there, I didn't map a button to it, but I think it's the... Is it the minus key? Not that one. The asterisk. Slash, that's it. Yes, the numeric forward slash key uh, can be used as a replacement for that one. So that key there is forward slash, and that is asterisk, effectively, on the numeric keypad. So you've already got those buttons. You could map it to a controller if you've got a wheel or something. But that's that. Um, brake pressure, as you can see, has come above 6 and is still rising, so that's good. That's the engine temperature over here. This is your bank of, of lights, so mostly you'll want to have these all turned on. This, of course, is the final driver's light there. Probably don't need it today, uh, but you can see that all the bus is completely lit up, so that's nice. Uh, one thing we need to do is drop that into place. Now, this here is the annunciator, and I think it may only work on the 23A route. It doesn't appear to be working on the 24A route, which is what we're currently on. Uh, so we'll have to wait till I try the other route to confirm that, but I I read the manual and I played around with this and I don't know, the enunciator is not working. If you press the Q key, it should enunciate, but so far I've not had any luck with that one. Uh, over here we have the, that is the heated mirrors switch, that is the, keep your eye out on that light, that is the ABS function, on or off, whether you want ABS on or off. And this is the internal heating, it's the key switch for that. Speaking of which, we probably should check the temperature here. Bus temperature 6 degrees, uh, it's currently in summer, and the, uh, what's the outside temperature? 6 degrees, relative humidity, 87%. So yeah, we probably should get the bus warmed up a little bit, so we'll come down here. Uh, this is the master heating control, that's the kind of temperature setting over there. Uh, this one here is on, on recircul recirculated air, we'll put that up to draw fresh air in and heat it up. Uh, that's the defroster, we're not going to need that today. And that is my foot control, whether I want my, my feet to be warmer, toasty feet and all that. And that is the general ventilation uh, around the bus. So we'll leave that on. Now these, are, these controls here are, um, let me remember, this is, the, this is the warning light I think it is. No, hang on. That's the, no wait a sec, I've got that wrong. Uh, yes, that's the warning light. Not exactly sure what that's for. Um, that was the battery light. Yeah, I can't remember exactly. That's the heating. Yeah, you can hear that. That's the heating button. So we'll leave that on for a bit. Uh, I can't remember what those two do exactly. Uh, but that's most of the controls done. Everything else is straightforward apart from this thing. So this particular bus, that is neutral. Normally you see a D, uh, N, R. Uh, what you've got on this bus is that's neutral. If I just hold the brake down a second. That is in a drive position uh, you then have to cancel it to get back to neutral that is in a reverse cancel it to get back to neutral and that is a uphill climb which will restrict the engine to just the first gears so it's useful if you climb up a steep hill that is most of the controls done uh, you've then got obviously the blinds which work up here and this is the external display sign which I'll cover in a second but first let's program our route in uh, so we can sort of get on the road here Let's bring in the current timetable. Now we're going to be driving 24A. We'll find a route from Invalid. Invalid to Kagran, that's where we're going. So that goes at 7.30, which gives us 20 minutes. 
We could always skip time, let's have a quick check just to make sure there's nothing. Well, there's one at 7.15, that goes very, very shortly. Uh, that's 2 or 3. We probably, probably have time to do that. So, yeah, let's take that. Um, so that's Kagrin on Tour 3. I'll displace the bus. Now, if we set this, Kagrin 24A, um, that's already set from a previous dip run I did. See, there's 23, but we're going 24A to Kagrin. Uh, that should program that thing now. As you see, that's gone to 25. And if you look on the outside, it says 24, 24A to Kagrin. Hopefully, people are wanting to get on. You can change this yourself. If, if for example, we put 26 and set, uh, you'll see the outside of it changes. So that's what you would use when you're coming back again. Uh, but we want to be on that, 24A to Kagrin. Uh, so that's that's program where you can go forward and backward through that manual. You can have a look in the manual about that one if you like. Uh, but let's, if I press the automatic button here, you'll see that the passengers immediately allow themselves onto the bus. Guten Tag. So they now have allowed themselves onto the bus. Uh, we shall leave that open just for now. Um, if we just flick to the back, did you hear that? One of the doors just... Uh, I think what happened is that lady stood near the light beam and broke the thing for that and it activated the rear door. That's what happened. Um, so let's jump back inside. We should be almost ready to go. Let's put that display up here. Minus 3.2 minutes, so yeah, we'll set off shortly. Uh, another thing is, this is the... Oh, what do they call this? Uh, the... Oh, you, you press that and it should show 2 and S. It's it's got a name, something like the box on or something, the go the go box, yes, the go box or something like that. I think it's like a German tachometer. I'm not exactly sure what it is to be honest. There's not much information about it. Uh, so if you do know what this this is, please explain it in the comments. Uh, we've got the wipers. They're incredibly squeaky. Well, not now they're not, but they have been. <laughs> Trust me on this one. They have been incredibly squeaky. Uh, very, very noisy. The lights are currently on, as you can see. If we press the L key, we've got the whole lights. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, it's not a not an advanced bus, like I say. It is a probably designed or designed in I would guess sixties or seventies, probably a seventies bus. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty cool bus. It's very quaint. Oh, that's the annunciator there. So, like I say to you, when you press the Q key. It's supposed to speak, and when you press the clutch down, it's supposed to speak. It does none of it, but the driver in real life would use his left foot and press that thing. Obviously, there's no clutch on a bus, it's automatic. So. But yeah, that's basically the controls. Um, oh, that actually works. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. I didn't even know that worked. That's so cool. Oh, man, look at this. They put the timetable. How are you supposed to read that? There we go. Oh, sweet. I didn't spoil this. Invalid 7.15, next stop is Spear Lingata. We should end up at Kagrin 7.40. So we're looking at a 25 minute journey, approximately. And we're departing in one and a half minutes. So let's just have a, a quick look around the bus here. Uh, looking around the inside, I noticed that the, the windows actually do slide. And of course in summer, you probably do need to open those. There's no room, there's no roof vents as such. There's no upper deck either, it's a single deck bus. That reminds me, um, actually. I think that one, there, is the one that you... I think it's that one or that one. One of these you press to get the ventilation from the outside. It basically pops open some roof vents and uh, allows the bus to ventilate. If you hear the passengers, passengers complaining about it being too warm, then you probably want to turn down the heating for a start. Uh, and then open some windows and then I think it's press that one there will open the, the roof ventilation. Uh, but that's basically the bus as it is. Um, temperature's starting to come up now, 8 degrees. Uh, we are almost ready to leave. We are like half a minute away from leaving. So I'm going to re-enable my uh, track IR, so reset it, put the wheel back on, get rid of that. We're going to leave the, the route information on. And I'll leave that on up the top as well, just so we know where we are with the journey. Um, this is the first time I've driven this. I have not done this whole journey, so this is absolutely new scenery for me as well as you but it should be kind of fun my only hope is i don't get lost i often get lost on these things uh, you come to a junction and nice you come to a junction and sometimes i won't know which way we're going so we're going to go to 24 to kagrin that is our route we're going to follow that anyway uh, let's close that now
so passengers cannot automatically get on or off. Uh, we'll wait till that delay goes to 0, 0.0. I'll close the doors and then we shall leave. So I'll put it in, put the brake down, uh, put it into drive, and we'll close the door, release the parking brake. You hear the bell go? That means we're good to go. And off we go. I don't know how much the passengers are going to speak in this. Uh, I don't know what they're going to say. I've heard Guten Tag, but I don't know how chatty they are. But so far, the frame rates are pretty good as well. I noticed the, the vehicles around here are not the kind of rubbishy old Mercedes-Benz. Uh, the 2000, 2005 era cars, BMWs, Volkswagens, all that kind of thing. Nothing coming. Looks good. So I think this is going to start off pretty rural. I notice the indicator doesn't automatically cancel either. Uh, this is going to start off pretty rural. And um, we shall end... Oh, oh dear, that's not good. We shall then end up in a pretty busy city. Well, a busy town anyway, with a major bus station. Oh no, dude! You're supposed to wait at that point. Okay. First stop. Okay, so I'm going to put the parking brake on. You've got two choices. You either put the parking brake on or you can just hold the brake yourself. Hello! Guten Tag. Uh, I guess, because I'm kind of used to using a station brake, uh, locking the brakes for me, but I don't think that's available on this model. When you press the station brake button, it just opens the doors. I don't think it activates the braking. So that can catch you out. This bit here actually reminds me of... Oh, there's a... Look at that, there's an aircraft. You see it? Right at the top of the screen. There's a jet coming into land. Uh, notice the speedometer there. It's got a little red light coming on. That's because I am going too quick or revving too high, I think. There we go, it's gone out now. Actually, I think we're a bit early for this stop. It says minus 0.5 minutes. Yeah, if I press the brake there, I'm just going to lock the parking brake a second. Guten Tag! Hello! Um, if I quickly check my timetable, um, I think I'm on time here. So yeah, I'll leave that on the top of the screen, then I don't uh, have to keep looking up the analytics, for the timetable analytics. But we'll try and run this to schedule if we can. See, these houses here have got a rather nice view of the field, haven't they? Doors closing. Parking brake. Cancel the indicator. Off we go. Well, it's a pretty busy bus service down there, blimey. That had a sign on it, which I think said it was out of action. It was German for not in service, I think. Well, look at the plants. Nice. Well, it kind of blocks the view out the window, doesn't it? Maybe we should pull that down just a touch. I've actually got live weather turned on. If you go to the OMSI weather thing, you can give it the... Um, well, if you watch my flight sim videos, anyway, you'll understand. You can give it the IKO code of a uh, city. So, for example, you could put EGSS, which is Stansted. Um, you could put that in, and it will actually lift out the live weather from that city, which is kind of cool. So I've actually put this onto Hamburg, funnily enough. So this is live weather from Hamburg right now. Right. Just let them on. I, I'm not pressing that because they're not requesting a stop yet. Okay. Hello, good morning. They're actually quite chatty, but um, I've also noticed none of them are paying. Which is curious. I'm sure I turned on the ticketing option, but now I'm beginning to think that maybe, a, you know, because I've reinstalled. I'm beginning to wonder if um, 
my ticketing option is turned off. Just slightly worrying. Let me uh, let me just check that. Ticket selling is turned on. Yes. Okay. I, I don't know. Ticket selling's turned on, so I should be getting ticket requests, but I'm not. So, is it a feature of this route or this bus, or have I um, not done something since I reinstalled Omsi? I'll have to look into that. So yeah, 7 a.m. I think it's sunny summer's day at the moment. Quite a pleasant drive. I'm just taking a note of this scenery, it's actually quite cool. A little, a little bit early for this stop. It looks like the schedule is quite slow, I keep arriving early. Können Good morning! Is that bike again? <laughs> I'm not really sure what she just said to me. Passengers complain about the low temperature in your bus. Okay, well we can do something about that, can't we? Is that on? Is that on maximum? Maybe I should put that heating thing back on. It's kind of hard to tell if that's in an on position or not. There we go. I can hear it now. Right, we'll keep our eye on the temperatures. It's 9 degrees inside, 10 degrees. It's starting to rise, that's good. It's gone the road. Pays to listen to your passengers. Well, yeah, the uh, the other bus that you get with the, the Vienna route uh, is completely different. It's the one that replaced this one, and it's much more modern. It has the whole Ibis code stuff on it. So I'll uh, I'll show you that one next time. I wonder what the maximum speed for this bus is. That red light there seems to come on at around 55. So maybe the maximum speed is restricted. I will explain why I keep arriving early. Citroen, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Volkswagen. They're the ones I've seen come past so far. I kind of wish OMSI had a facility where the passengers would um, they would give you a rating at the end. I know they complain and stuff when you take a corner too quickly or you're a bit too aggressive on the braking or whatever. But I actually think it'd be kind of cool if they gave you a... Like for flight simulation, you can get a, an add-on like FS Passengers and it'll give you a rating on how you did. I think that'd be kind of cool. So it's not just one... It's like a rating over time of the entire journey. You could, you could do it on punctuality, smoothness, um, timing at the stops. I don't know, you could do it on everything. You could feed that into a career mode then. Well, I'm enjoying the scenery so far, actually. Don't know if we need to stop here or not to trigger the... Um, to trigger the analytics, but I'm going to stop here anyway, just to make sure it does. Oh no, I forgot to put the wheel back on. Ah, scumbag. Scumbag squirrel. A whole bunch of you are raging at that point. Put the wheel back on! I think I did an entire video once where I had the wheel off, and the amount of comments I got. <laughs> Do me a favour next time, don't drive without the wheel. So there you go, there's a stop request, so you heard the ding-dong, and that light's now come on. So at the next stop, and it's just going to get off there anyway, the next stop, if we just press the blue button, or press the forward slash on the keypad, uh, that'll activate the automated system, and you can self-serve that. 24A to Kagrin was straight on, so I almost took a wrong turn. Luckily I was paying attention. I should check my timetable, actually. Because that'll tell me the next stop. Yeah, 
if this town, if this one isn't listed, then we've got a problem. Brettonly. Okay, so we'll put the handbrake on, we'll press the automatic button. See, that's automatically worked. Um, Brettonly or 723. We're good. Good morning. Good and tag. Close that. There's the little ding. I love that little bell. It's so cool. Okay, I think we need to... Ah, you, you feel the braking then. It's because I left the automated thing on. So you have to turn off the automated system before it'll let you drive away properly. In the manual, it also contains information about the, the traffic light system, like the bus... Because on this, you'll find yourself... Uh, as I've experienced, actually, when I've been in Europe, you'll find that the buses will often share the same... will we'll drive down the tram tracks, and they'll, they'll have the same kind of bus lights, and you have to obey the, uh, the bus signals. You have to know what you're doing there as well. Okay. Very slightly late. I'm not too worried, though. Guten Tag! Look at that dog. Guten Tag! Morgan! Why don't I say Guten Tag? Morgan. Guten Tag's okay. Good day's okay. Should really be saying good morning, but hey, whatever. We'll start to see the tram and bus lane stuff as we get into town. Look at these buildings on the right, very um, contemporary, that's the word. Really bugs me that. That is one of the most overused words in the estates. Uh, world is contemporary. Everybody says it. We're going for the contemporary look. Okay, we've got a stop request. Ziegholstrasse. Stop there. We'll activate the automated stuff. Let's just double check. People get. Yeah, you see him getting on and, on and off on the back there automatically. Guy got on in the middle, and a woman got off right at the back, and the doors will automatically close. It's really cool. Such a cool feature. Okay. We are now ready to go. 24A to Cagran is straight on. Now we've got a bus lane here. I'm kind of interested as to what's going to happen when we set off. I think I know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Effectively, they're not going to give way, are they? There we go. Oh, it's just like flashbacks to Eurotruck AI. One thing I will say about OMSI, it actually automatically hides the mouse. <coughs> Construction simulator. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get a lot more rural now, isn't it? Though? Sorry, a lot more urban. This really is the suburbs. Half a minute late. I need to pick up some time somewhere. Nope. No takers. Okay. So be it. I keep pressing the clutch pedal in the vain hope that the enunciator will suddenly kick into life and it's not happening. Oh, this is good. Nice short stop to claw back time. Nice. Morgan! I swear, if I say Targ, they say Morgan. If I say Morgan, they say hello. Can't get it right. you got to watch out for these guys randomly crossing over these pedestrian crossings as well. It does happen. Hopefully we'll see some tramps soon. Next stop, I'm going to check the timetable just to make sure I'm still going the right way. I am paranoid. I want to be sure. Speed limit of 50 here. 
You are now entering the 50 zone. There's that mic again. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to see people going past on scooters as well. I remember a lot of scooters. Oberfeld, uh, is that on the list? Yes, it is. That's good. 24 to Kagrin, stop request. Um, we are going straight on, but I'm going to get in this lane. That will do. We'll take up both lanes because that's what buses do, in my experience. Yep, city centre incoming while I look at it. I have no doubt that I will run a light at some point. Yay, there's one of our buses, the LU200. Sweet. Looks like we've got a bus lane coming up as well. How do we even say that? Zverchakaveg. Okay, enable the automated stuff. Have a quick look at the timetable. There it is. Oh, that was scary. I love the little the, the audible signal, which means you can go, is such a useful thing. I'm gonna to have to give way here, aren't I? I need to go straight on, but I'm guessing a bus would have to give way at this point. Although, in theory, a bus can actually turn right by the look of it. Wow, this is a busy bus. Look at this. And nobody's complaining. Which is kind of cool. Must be doing something right. Let's put my indicator on. I need to get in that lane. Come on, you're going to make me late! Oh, you see the sign there, eh? That means within eight seconds, we will... There you go, you see it? That slash means we can go. So the A means within eight seconds, you will be allowed to go. And then it changes to a slash, which means go. If it's a horizontal line, that's uh, stop for you. So it looks like buses get a priority before the uh, cars do, which is cool. 50 zone, back off on the speed. Hoffman. Wouldn't it be great if somebody opened a shop next to it and called it Dustin? <laughs> That'd be so cool. That is a very, very low bridge. I'm almost a minute late now, scumbag game. Not what you can do when you have to sit at the traffic lights. Good morning. Hello again. Hello. This is your free bus ride. Hope you enjoy. I would enjoy a free bus ride every day. Come by car. Oh, come on, dude. You gotta let me go. Thank you. I tell you, give way to buses. Doesn't happen. Breaking the speed limit. Back off. Ah, look, now we're starting to get the tower blocks coming in. The apartments. It's quite cool. We've gone from, like, urban to suburban. And now we've gone into, like, really getting quite built up now with the apartment blocks. Hello. What's all that about? It's a bit random. Mark Monastrasa or something. Hello! Where are we on this? There we are. We've got about another five or six stops. One 
1.3 minutes late. It should work with intolerance. It's good scenery though, I like it. And the main thing is the frame rates are staying quite good as well. Which is always a problem with OMC. I guess it's because it's a... Uh, I don't know. Is it because it's sold via Steam? It's been tested better? Who knows? It's been modelled better? Maybe that's it. If you are suffering from frame rates, one bit of advice I have is put some fog in there. You get some fog. What are you complaining about? Did I miss a stop? What were they complaining about? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I really don't know what that was about, to be honest. Tag. Tag. Nope, I don't know. No idea. I must have hit something. Maybe a bump. As if the road surface is my fault. Bad driver, squirrel. You hit that hole in the road. Okay, I didn't put the hole there. Oh look, dodgy builders ahead. This is the crane. Right, no stop request, no passengers. I'm going to keep on going. Uh, I think we're turning left. Do I need to be in the left lane, do you think? Or... Nope, we've got a bus lane. I don't know if the bus lane lets me turn left, though. Eek. I don't know if she'll be in this lane or the bus lane. I'm going to guess. I'm going to take a, a risk here. I'm going to say, let's go bus lane. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. We've got a dedicated bus lane. Yeah, look, dodgy builders are on site. Right in front of us. Ooh, bendy bus. Right, I have to stop here. A, there's a stop request. And B, 20 passengers just spawned. Did you see that? I swear they just spawned. Let people off before you get on. Thank you. Complain about the higher temperature. Wow. What do you want me to do? You told me to turn the temperature up, didn't you? Yeah, what's the temperature? 31 Celsius. <laughs> can I open the windows from the outside? Yes, I can. 31 Celsius in my bus. I think they've got a right to complain, if I'm honest. Okay, look. I'm giving you ventilation. Don't pass out on me. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow, I've only just got going as a stop request. You let me go, bro. Hey, let me go. No, you scumbag. You utter, utter idiot. Thank you. Now, you see the work? We're on the trams now. So we need to get on the tram track for a bit. Which can be very surreal at first. You think, why am I driving a, uh, a road vehicle onto a track? But... That's what you do. There's a tram coming the other way. I'm not sure if you can drive those, actually. I did see them in the list. I think you might actually be able to drive the tram. In OMSI, which would be kind of freaky and cool at the same time. Okay, now this is where it catches you out with running red lights. You've got to be careful here. Yeah, you see, there's no, like, lights in front of you, but you still have to conform to the lights on the road. And if you don't, you'll end up smashing into something. So keep your eye out over there. You see that one? That's ours. That should go A, and then change to a, a slope. That means don't move. There's the A. 
So we should get released. There you go. So vertical line means you can go. If it's got like a, a, a configuration like a top left dot, it means you can go left. And if it's a top right dot, it means you can go right. Okay, we are a bit late. Temperature in the bus has dropped to 19. Wow. That shot down quickly. It's now 18. I think it's getting a bit cold in here now. I'll tell you what, let's recirc the R. Hang on a sec. I think some people wanted to get off. I just want to make sure. I think there was definitely a stop request and it didn't press that button, so... If we press it, we'll, we'll do the right thing, essentially. You can't go wrong, it'll just delay you. Speaking of delay, I'm now three minutes late. So now the bus and the tram probably going to split up. Again, we need to look at this thing over here. Horizontal line means stop. So we have our own separate control system because that way it can let us go first. And the A means we'll get some kind of um, advance notice. Stop request. Yeah, I'm badly behind. 2.9 minutes. It's not good. How are we doing back there? Are we all good? Are you loving the new temperature? Does 16 work for you? I should probably shut some windows now. We're going to get too cold. Oh, that was already closed, apparently. Okay, let's just need all that. Flipping heck, how long are you mates on his wait? I like how you have to drag it to the right to open it to the left. Lol. Oh, it works okay on this side, though. Yeah, I don't want you getting too cold. Oh, no! The light's changed. I saw it. Oh, no! I missed my opportunity. I I was too busy shutting the windows. I saw it go to go, and then... Oh, it's come back. <laughs> I jump back in and I saw it go from vertical to horizontal. I'll wait till these go and then I'm just going to nip across. And four minutes late as it is. I don't know, trying to keep the passengers comfortable, I missed the traffic light. Watch me get hit by a tram. I've actually got a bus behind me. Not too bad, I mean, you know, a few minutes late. First ever run down here. Oh god. Are you supposed to be coming this way? That looks a bit narrow, mate. Flippin' heck. Yeah, we're gonna hit each other, bro. It's your fault, you should have waited. Okay, that ain't happening. I'll blame it on him. I don't think in the real world that would have happened. So I think this is the bus terminal. Twenty-four A to Cagran. Uh, stop request about to change by the look of it. See the bus lights again. Straight into here. Yeah, I think this is the bus terminal. 4.8 minutes late. Not to worry. It's been a good run, though. It's been kind of cool, actually. What the? You what, mate? <laughs> Who's parked the bus in a tree? Can I even fit through there?
GG bro Nice bit of parking I think this is last stop <laughs> Is that it? Kagran 24A arrival Depart 742 Thank you very much for travelling with us Auto bus. Yeah. Well, that's journey complete. Okay. Well. I don't know what happened with him. But we got everybody to Kagran. This is where you pick up passengers and uh, do the return journey if you want to. That is a nice bus. And that is quite a nice journey. Uh, that is Vienna 1 on Steam. Like I say, it's not cheap. I don't know if it's value for money or not, but um, I definitely enjoyed that. I can't get the enunciator to work yet, but the bus is pretty cool. Graf Steyr. I'll have to try one of the other um, buses as well. I've got another bus to show you, and we've got the Vienna 2, which is the 23A route to show you. So, yep, more videos to come on this, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like, leave your comments, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Until next time, happy busing.